Hey guys, welcome back. Lots of questions about the hydroxychloroquine, and thank you for your questions. I and I try to cover all the information, but sometimes I don't take the time to stop and think. Hey, um, I try to put out all the information best I can. So I've had a lot of questions about dosage. I've had a lot of questions about storage. Okay. So once you cook up a batch, the way that I showed you how to do it, if it's refrigerated. You've got a one to two month window. If you know you're going to exceed that, you can extend it out to about a year. And that's frozen, okay? Now, keep in mind, when you freeze something, it is, it is mostly water, distilled water. So distilled water doesn't have the, the same minerals in it. It lacks potassium. Um, well, we won't get into that, but it doesn't freeze as fast, basically, is what I'm trying to tell you. You can tell how pure water is when it's frozen because it won't have any, um, Disturbances, it'll be crystal clear, like a crystal. All right, so um, storage, like this in the fridge, one to two months. Frozen, out to a year. Dosage, if you are asymptomatic and you're doing this as a preventative maintenance, one tablespoon a day is adequate. Um, in very high doses, this answers your question, kind sir, which was a very good question. And I'm glad you brought it up because I wouldn't have thought to cover it. Um, yes. And in high doses, this is not as bad as the actual medication because it doesn't have Clorox in it. It doesn't have um, the hydrogen peroxide in it. Um, and so, you know, those things are obviously going to be harder on your system. This is all natural. That doesn't mean it's perfectly safe. Yes, it can be hard on your system in extremely high doses. You don't want to take more than six of these a day. So one a day for preventative, two to six if you're symptomatic. Every four hours, you can do two tablespoons, okay? All right, so I'm, I've got another jug in there that's almost empty, so we're, boys are starting back to school, you know? So I just wanna make sure that they're good to go. So I'm gonna fill these about three quarters and then freeze them. And then I don't have to worry about it until it's gone. And I want to want to reiterate something. I don't know how much of you guys um, are into doing research, but if I can share any of my resources with you, um, I would love to do that. Now I've got a lot of books, just a lot of paper and hardback books. Um, I also use online stuff. I use PubMed as a I use PubMed and Material Safety Data Sheets (MSDS). It's public knowledge. It's public domain. It's Nothing, uh, you're not gonna find any classified stuff on there. You might find some stuff that should be, or that you think should be. But if you're, if you're curious in that, if you're, if you want to know more about that, you know, check it out. A lot of good information out there. It seems like the only hard questions to answer with the internet are questions about politics, statistics, and medical for some reason. But here we are, 2021. Nothing surprises me. One year, so I should probably mark the date on them. So I'll get my Sharpie, mark them up, good to go. Again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your time. Love you, mean it. Stay tuned. Stay salty.